Hey everyone, welcome to Victor Condition Gaming. My name is Doug. Today on the show, we are playing Inferno, and Inferno, Dante's Guide to Hell, uh, brought to you by Acheron Books. I'll remind folks that this is currently on Kickstarter right now, and I'm going to share the screen. If you are interested in this, it is already hit its funding goal. It is going towards stretch goals. There's all sorts of all sorts of content that you can pledge towards and, and everything. So definitely check that out here. Uh, the links are in the description for both the quick start and for the Kickstarter. And while you're down there um, in our downstown, downstairs area of our video, uh, please hit that like button down below and also hit that subscribe button. We really greatly appreciate that. We love uh, featuring all sorts of RPGs and, and publishers, and we just love our, our community here on YouTube. So thank you so much to everyone that is a part of it. Uh, without further ado, let's bring on Max Castellani from uh, Epic Party and... Acheron Books. Max, thanks for coming on and uh, being a part of this and running this actual play for us. Nope. I'm muted, of course. <laughs> That's the, the, the nice thing of going live, you know. <laughs> um, thank you very much for having me here. I'm here for both Epic Party Games and Acheron Games to bring Inferno Dante's Guide to Hell to Victory Condition Gaming. And we hope we'll have tons of fun. I am sure I'm sure we will. Um, do you want to just give folks the, the two minute sales pitch on uh, uh, Inferno Dante's Guide to Hell before we uh, before we begin and bring on the, the rest of the cast for the session? Yes, yes, of course. So uh, Dante's Guide to Inferno Dante's Guide to Hell, Inferno, is uh, a fifth edition adaptation um, compatible with the OGL, the open game license of um, Dungeons and Dragons. And it will bring uh, the characters inside of the Divine Comedy Inferno, the Divine Comedy Hell, uh, really sticking to what Dante Alighieri, the, the poet, uh, wrote in uh, this uh, genius piece of work that is the Divine Comedy. And uh, we will see inside of this game every little detail uh, translated and uh, brought to the game in, uh, I think, I hope, an amazing way that has never done before this way. So this is what Dante's Guide to Hell is going to be. Excellent, excellent. And joining us uh, this this afternoon or evening, depending on where you're at in the world, are our amazing players. As always, thank you everyone for coming on. Let's just go around the. Uh, let's, do you want to do player introductions first, Max, or how would you like to do that? Uh, so well. Uh, first of all, thank you everybody for being here. Thank you, Emily, for being here again. It's such a pleasure to have you on another game of mine. And uh, yes, we can probably present the characters while every other player present themselves. So it would be a cool way to. So let's start from, from. I let's let's, uh, let's let Josh go. Josh, uh, you want to introduce your character for for everyone? Josh, you muted, Josh, Josh, you're muted as as I was before. <laughs> it's a pretty good trick. There we go. Yeah, it's it's the whole. Yeah. You're right. It's the whole live thing. <laughs> uh, all right, I am playing Caesar Neri, uh, lawful evil uh, fifth level fighter. Um. I really like this character. I kind of read its background. He's a tyrant. Um, he's kind of your all-round badass. Yeah. And he doesn't he doesn't take crap from anybody. So I'm very excited. This is definitely a character that's in my wheelhouse. <laughs> Super Excellent. Cool. Excellent. Jason, would you like to go next? Sure. Um, I will be playing. Severino de Severini. I hope I didn't mangle that too badly. Um, he's a wizard uh, by by class, anyway. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be the representation in the actual game at the end. Um, he's um, a man tortured by avarice and greed, and is in the 
in these realms because he's basically uh, trying to work his way through that. He's trying to decide whether or not his um, internal motivation for things and items is the path forward or if it's the path to hell. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Emily? Hi, I'm Emily, and I am playing Teresa. She is a paladin who has found herself down in the seventh circle um, for reasons, maybe she was a crusader, you know? She thought that she was doing what was right, following the Lord with justly and truly, but unfortunately, you know, just did not do it the right way. <laughs> Brought too much death and pain upon the world. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, I am playing Viri Foroboshi. I think that's how I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't <laughs> it's, know. It's Foroboski. Foroboski. Like... All right. There you yes. Go. <laughs> All right. I, I am a uh, I'm a ranger, but uh, basically, I uh, have kind of lived my life as kind of a, a scam artist, and uh, yeah, and I'm very I, I'm very cautious as to. Uh, things that we encounter and i want to know lots of lots of details before uh before i commence and uh, yeah i've got this awesome bow which you can't see it's made of of horns uh, black horns and basically it uh yeah it's it's gonna it's gonna wreck some damage it's it's gonna wreck yes. wreck lives i think i think that's basically my my black yes. horn bow it, crossbow is going to wreck some lives in this in this uh uh, in this sexual play. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a possibility. Yes. So first of all, I would like, so we are going to play tonight a, an adventure that will be a part of the 10th, uh, uh, 10 adventures that will um, make the first introductory campaign uh, to uh, the whole sandbox um, environment that will be this this game so it, it will be divided between a, a sort of tutorial short campaign uh through 10 slash 12 short adventures and then an open sandbox and an open world inside of hell itself so we are now going to play what will be probably the fifth or the sixth uh, of these first adventures so your players your characters uh, by now, would probably know some things that I would like to introduce you. So, because you will be uh, already aware of certain things here in hell. So, uh, about its nature, about its laws, etc. Et so, first of all, you are well aware of the fact that you are not dead. Okay, so uh, you are um, just you are what in the game is called lost. So, you are the lost one. Your race, your kind, is described as lost one. So, whatever you were in uh, in uh, during your life before coming into hell, you're not that anymore. So, as soon as you got lost and ended up into the dark forest, the same dark forest in which Dante uh, found himself when you know he also got lost at a certain point in his life, for whatever reason, and uh, he found himself in hell, just as you did, probably, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago, a month ago, a year ago, you don't even know, because in hell, time does not even exist, as we mortals can comprehend it. So, uh, you've been um, starting your journey from the dark forest till the moment that it is now, and you're well aware of the fact that you are not dead. You got lost and ended up here for... You're trying to understand why. So probably it's divine intervention. You met a guide during this journey that is with you now. So you are uh, accompanied by a guide. And um, he told you that um, for divine, inter for, for divine uh, will... He has the uh, the he has to take you 
and help you to exit hell, to go out of hell. That's your mission. That's, that's what you want to do. So you understood that sin and vices brought you here and you have to uh, maintain hope, the, 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 the hope that Dante describes as the hope of the heights, the hope of the heavens, in order to exit or vice versa, just get lost in hell and lose your soul uh, forever, for, for, for eternity. You know. So first of all, you're not dead. Second thing is that uh, you um, are have just left the city of Limbo, uh, which is probably the first and last oasis uh, inside of hell. This is the city where uh, the spirits that didn't really commit the, uh, you know, sin during life, but didn't met God, such as the ancient poets that you know before church was uh, was an existent thing. Uh, there were so many virtuous men that because they didn't uh, met and known and prayed God, they are not allowed to enter the heavens, so they are in hell. But still, since they are virtuous men, they are not punished in any way. Their only punishment is being here, but they are in a, a very bright city, which is a, a, a very... Uh, different from any other thing in hell. So you are coming from here right now. The other thing that you know, which is pretty important, <laughs> exactly, which is pretty important, is that your figure, your uh, exterior uh, appearance, is not what you remember of yourselves. As soon as you uh, came into hell, uh, hell itself attached, sticked on you, an archetype, which is those images that you see on your character sheets, those artworks, is what you look like now. And those archetypes, the tyrant, uh, the exile, uh, the saint, and uh, Severino de Illuminatus, they are the exact representation, you know, every archetype in the game is the exact representation of the punishment that you will encounter, you will encounter uh, once dead and going into hell. So everything that dis defines you now is ex the exact representation of that punishment. And it is made from hell in order to um, push you to still indulge in your sins and lose your hope and finally uh, you know, get you know, in, the, in the infernal embrace and uh, never, never, never get away from you. So this is basically the, the nice place you're into and the nice condition you find yourself in. <laughs> All right. So if there are no questions about it, we can start with the adventure and see all the mechanical stuff while we play, if you agree. Okay. Sure. Thank you. That, wor Thank that you works absolutely. for me. All right. So uh, while the city of Limbo becomes a distant memory in your tired minds, uh, the confirmation of hell changes many times around you while you are traveling towards your next step. And uh, uh, the whole environment is hidden by uh, a black veil of a starless sky that, um, like a breath of darkness, uh, seems to haunt you since you left the first and probably last thriving oasis of hell the city of, of Limbo, uh, the, the home of the mighty spirits. And your guide, who now holds uh, the Divine Lantern, which is an artifact that uh, he recovered in the city of Limbo, uh, urges you to, to hurry up, basically, uh, and to not be uh, intimidated by those moans and laments that are rising higher and higher beyond the dark horizon in front of you. And uh, he tells you that in fact, uh, those laments, those uh, um, moanings, uh, really indicate uh, the approaching of the next destination, which is the door leading to the second circle of hell. And uh, it's, it's not really that far away now. So if 
on the shores of the Acheron, which is the first river of hell that you have already crossed, okay, in, in the past of your, uh, the story of your, uh, of your characters. Uh, the damned waiting to ferry had seemed an incalculable multitude. Uh, your limited minds must now strive to renew the concept of infinity once more. Because here, uh, waiting to cross the threshold between the first and the second circle, there is so vast a flood of lost souls and damned mm, bodies, that damned bodies, that you know, not even a hawk could see its limits or its final destination. So, the quantity of the damned uh, destined to cross it is so great that dense clouds just still. It, 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 it's a it's a huge cube that doesn't even move. At least it doesn't seem to move. And uh, it takes maybe a step forward every hundred beats of the heart. And the only sign of pa the passing of time is the bathing of your heart. This is the way that you could possibly uh, track the passing of time. So to make the matters worse, even worse, uh, all around in the air, you can see a multitude of armed and ill-intentioned devils who goad the painful people and keep them in line like herds headed for the slaughterhouse. And they will probably, that's what you might be thinking, they will probably also uh, prevent you from wandering away or bypassing the line. So this is the, what you, what, what's happening in front of you. Okay. So, so the door's up ahead, you said. Yes, you are looking for the door between the first and the second circle. Okay, that's and what we the got, guide told you. We got to get past this line. Um, yes. Okay. We need to make it to the front of the line. So can we even no see problem. the door from here? From here, no. You, you, you're not able to see the door. Probably. All right. No, it's it's very far away. Do we see? Can I watch any of the devils that are flying? Do they swoop down and and interact with anybody that tries to get out of the line or anything? Yes, they do, and they uh, kind of you know hit them and um, you know growl to them, and they put them back in line. Or if somebody is uh, you know very. Uh, uh, ferocious in his uh, or hers uh, uh, escaping, um, they even destroy the souls of the dead that, that tries to do such a thing. You also know one of the other things that you've learned is that nothing can die in hell for real. So mm -hmm. even when a soul gets destroyed, it will be after a while. And um, so it also happened to you with a, with a distinction. You are able to respawn, basically, uh, just next to the lantern of your guide, which is okay. uh, made of uh, the divine flame. But every time you respawn, you lose three hope points. You can see on your character sheets, you have a, 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 a circle. There are some circles. And uh, that's written hope. Yes, exactly. Those are 33 dots representing your 33 hope points. And it is all the hope you've le you have left. And you have to try to not lose that much. And every time you respawn, you lose three point hope points. So, um, and you can spend hope even to enhance your powers. Probably we will see that later. And uh, that's it. Yes, some souls okay. get destroyed. Some other just get back to in line, terrified by the devils. And the devils here. Um, there's probably an image. the The front cover of the first book presents all the devils as they are now. I don't know if you Doug can put it uh, on screen. Uh, they are basically uh, skeletals. Uh, they are uh, these golden skeletals with horns and, and wings with all sorts of weapons. They're pretty scary, yes. Wow. Mm. Oh, there's no problem, Doug. 
Yeah, I can't. Uh, I'll, I'll I should have worn. Yeah. You should. You should. Yeah, I would have. I would have loaded it onto this onto the program. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to be very cautious at uh, and stand in line and just try to take in as much information as I can about the situation. And uh, uh, I'll lean over line, to. What? Was that not going to get anywhere just standing in line? We got. So we got to get over there. Dude, he's and not if wrong. you want to, you want to stand here. I tell you what, I, I'm gonna march forward. My child, gonna... have patience. Uh, if I have to, I'll push through the line. I'll just like start pushing uh, <laughs> souls don't know out they... of the way. <laughs> they, 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 they might also torment you if 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 you cut the line. You know what? I've handled worse. If I may advise you, you should cast your cares upon the Lord. For he will not allow his righteous to be shaken. But he will let them wait in line for eternity. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. In in one ear and out half the other. <laughs> we don't have eternity to wait here. That's the... We don't have the time. These people have given it up. They're waiting their turn. They're waiting like cattle. Do you want to be cattle? Of course I do not wish to be cattle, child. But we cannot leave the line. We can only shorten the line. Okay, and I'll pull out my, my sword <laughs> and say, all right, let's 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 shorten the line. You're that's probably going to really regret want. saying that, actually, uh, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> the devils around us seem to care that uh, weapons are being drawn. We're eyeing the people in front of us. Uh, no. Uh, the, the closest devil is, um, pretty far away from you right now. So there, you're not inside of devils that could probably see, uh, in your weapon, such a, you know, menace or something, a threat. Uh, and the other damned souls, uh, they are, uh, kind of desperate here. They are mm, not even... Um, not even looking at you. So, yeah. you know that you are pretty peculiar to this place. Mm -hmm. You know, the other dent, nobody has your appearance here. Mm -hmm. um, you're pretty unique in hell. You you have understood that pretty pretty well by now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's typical for Jason anyway. You would probably, <laughs> yes, you, you would probably caught the attention of a devil in the moment that right. they see you. So someone's watching, but they're just not doing anything about it yet. Yeah. yeah I, I'll i just start swinging if they don't want to move out of the way. What? Oh, okay. Can I try uh, and uh, address them first? Would you mind really? if, I, if I spoke to them? Oh, Perhaps they would be willing. Uh, just as long as I ask. First, then Fine. I think, oh, wonderful. Uh, Teresa will step forward and adjust the veil that covers her eyes um, and tap on the person in front of them. My poor damned soul, I would recommend you get behind us, for we have the Lord's path to walk. Okay, so that soul just turn around and look at you with this sad eyes and says something like I'm here waiting to be judged yes. as everybody else I I can't step back I must just look forward and step forward along the line I rest my shield against my knee so that I can cup this poor soul's face I am aware that you are ready to be damned and let me tell you, the judgment that awaits you is not pleasant. It would You would do well to take a moment to confess your sins to God before you face this judgment. Oh, I don't know. Uh, to you? Ah, uh, not to I. To God, pray to him. Or he shall listen to even the most fallen of souls. Uh, let, 
I could try. Yes, surely I could try. Uh, it might take you a while. Please step behind us. Uh, yes, I might step behind you. Uh, I don't know. And, and he starts to slowly walk past behind you. Mm -hmm. You know, he passed through you. And you can see right through his body because the 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 damned are mostly incorporeal. So you can see this lost soul, very sad, and now thinking and mumbling something, probably this prayer to a god that he lost such a long time ago. And he, in fact, steps behind you, and you have gained one position. That took far too long. Yeah. I'm so yeah, happy thanks. that you realized that, Teresa. We do not have time <laughs> for you to negotiate with every damned soul in this plane. But are I'm, they when when it passed through her, like when she cupped his uh, cupped uh, her hands, was she actually able to touch it at all, or was it just like floating around? Um, kind of. You you did not understand quite well how much uh, a soul is inconsistent in hell. They are sometimes totally incorporeal. They are sometimes more physical. And you, this one in particular looks pretty uh, incorporeal, like a okay. phantom, like a specter. But sometimes they change. You don't know why or how. All right. Uh, do we just march forward until we run into something I, I'm solid? I'm already pushing through. <laughs> I don't know how far I could get, but I'm, darn it. I I'm let her do I'll, her thing. I'm, I guess I'll follow Cesar here. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> going gonna, gonna to take up the back and just make sure as I'm watching and making sure that there's nothing else going on. Like there's nothing bad that's happening as keep they an eye, keep an yeah, eye on stay, the devils. Make stay sure with they're the paladin. Not, yeah. You're, you're good. You, you've got large protection over there. <laughs> All right. So you start. Um, walking through this damn souls, right? Yeah. And um, you you uh, see that you are able to do this and you uh, walk for something like 20 to 40 feet while at a certain point you can hear the, um, the sound of a couple of wings uh, reaching towards you and if you uh, look up you can see one very skinny skeletal devil made of this rusty gold looking right at you mm -hmm. uh, with this creepy smile on his face and uh, floating down just to probably can I creepy smile back at him yes <laughs> And uh, the devil is right on the floor now, and the wings are fold, fold in, folded in. All right. And he looks at you, and um, he's got a gladius, um, the short uh, Roman, ancient Roman short sword from the gladiators, and mm -hmm. this gold gladius. And uh, he looks at you while he. Uh, bumps the blade on the skeletric uh, hand and uh, he speaks with this metallic voice and he says hoo 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 look what we got here what are you You're what am I yeah. what am I what are you a wind up toy I am a devil. Don't look like no devil I know. <laughs> very, very funny. Mm -hmm. So, do you know that doing what you are doing could cause you instant uh, death? I could destroy you just for seeing you walking this far into the line, not waiting for your turn. I don't Surely. have time to wait. <laughs> you don't have time to wait. I think you chose 
the wrong place to go on vacation then. <laughs> but it's so warm down here. It is. So, uh, once again, what are you? Don't worry I've about what I am. I've never seen such a thing as you. Yeah, I'm probably the be most beautiful thing you've seen down here. I Teresa, wouldn't say that. Teresa pointedly adjusts her long, flowing white hair at that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't have time to, ch to chit-chat. Perhaps it would be quicker to explain our situation. Do you mean to, to behead him? Yeah. Okay. My my devil. I'll swing. Yes. Oh. oh, he's okay. <laughs> goodbye, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you Possibly. saying goodbye to me or him? <laughs> yes. Yes. To a whatever bit of it may apply. <laughs> it's a blanket statement. Yeah, I, I will swing, swing with my uh, great sword. As, All right. As, as Caesar does this, I'm, I'm going to uh, kind of step back just a little okay. bit and let some of the uh, souls kind of. I'm going to try to blend in with some of the other souls that are uh, <laughs> in the background. Freaking coward! I'm not. I'm not with him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to watch how this all transpires. Plays out. Yeah, of course. I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious. So I'm just going to stand there with my my book and my staff, just you know, watching what's going on. All, all right. right. So you are using your uh, burden as a right? Yes. Okay. And um, you can roll. Uh, do, do you need help? I don't think so. Uh, Just so roll it. It's okay. It's plus tormented. eight. Yes, plus eight. Yep. So it's a d20 plus eight. Yep. All right. So uh, one of the yes, one of the peculiarities of the characters, the archetypes of Inferno, is they have what was it? A twenty? A natural twenty. <laughs> That's good. Uh, so it's that they have. They all have three uh, features called the Infernal emblems that mm. represents all they uh, will have from the beginning to the end of the game. As uh, as uh, uh, as far as having objects and artifacts and, and weapons and powers, etc. So uh, there will be some uh, specific moment in the game where a specific artifact, a, a unique uh, item, will be discovered and will be you know made uh, available to the characters. But for all the rest, in Dante Alighieri's Inferno, there are no markets, there are no merchants, so there's mm -hmm. not the chance to go around and you know uh, exchange right. items and sell and buy stuff. So the archetypes comprehend three infernal emblems that will grow in power, and that would be all that the characters will have. And in this case, um, the sword of uh, the tyrant Cesare Neri is his burden. So is his super weapon, right. and he just made a natural twin. So you of of course you uh, you hit the you hit the devil. Just roll me uh, damage. Okay. Uh, Ten, fifteen. So that's uh, twenty damage. Twenty damage. Okay. The moment you hit, your burden also becomes heavier because mm -hmm. it, uh, you know it um, it gets the pain that you've just inflicted and you gain one blood die Ooh, you can yes, see it the on die. the back of your on the back of your character sheet there's blood dice which is an ability of your uh, your character and this blood die is a d6 that you can spend to um, increase mm -hmm. damage and you can um, uh, storage um, like free, Blood dies because your uh, bonus proficiency bonus is uh, plus three. So yes. until you expand them, uh, you can accumulate them. So that's the. But you can like also that. expand them right away. Right. So uh, how many damages? Sorry. 
can you? Uh, so twenty points of damage. Twenty. Oh, all right. That's a lot. Uh, yeah, it is a lot. And let me look for devils. I lost the. Where is it? In the meanwhile, so the slash is pretty is pretty heavy. The the yep. hit just uh, caught the devil in between his 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 eyes and uh, just leave a pretty huge mark on his skull, his golden skull, and his chest. But he is still on foot. He still stand up. And uh, would you like to roll me initiative, all of you? Sure. So it's a d20 plus your dexterity modifier, basically, on your character sheet that should be written uh, in the first half. Let me Ooh, see. 18. Oh, 18 minus 1. So 17 for me. It's a 22 for me. Ooh, all right. Nice. Teresa has a 6. <laughs> uh, 12 for Severino. So it was a 17, right? Um, Josh. Yes. So, uh, Vieri, you act first. Um, I am going to uh, try to. I'm going to. Again, I'm going to still kind of stay behind the. The, the 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 souls in between me and and uh, Caesar, but I'm going to uh, take out my my uh, black horns, which are my crossbow, and I'm going to uh, try to I'm I'm going to aim and uh, try to hit the uh, the devil uh, kind of in the shadows from or in the crowd of everyone else, and so that they All don't right. really see where it's coming from. Sneaky crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do this. All right. Rolled for it. Oh, that's a one. No. That's a one. That's a one. <laughs> it's a, so your crossbow just uh, auto generates um, right uh, icy darts. So ice made darts. Ooh. And so you clicked and you you shoot your your icy dart, but it goes totally out of target. And you, you in front of, you know, the three of you can see this icy dart <laughs> just <laughs> flashing into the darkness. That's a real good way to stay then, hidden there, Vieri. And then I'm just going to go. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Like, <clears throat> like, yeah. And so, um, Cesare, your turn again. Uh, he just won't go down, and I'll yes, swing. Easy. Okay, let's see. All right, so same sword. Let's roll. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's 14 to hit, so it's pretty okay. easy. Once again, roll damage. You got it. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, 11 plus 5, 16. 16, cool. So you can see the tyrant in front of you with this giant armor and this giant blade that it, it slashes in uh, the, the, the skull of the, of the devil in, almost in half. And then by the time that uh, Vieri should uh, his dart, the blade, the, the, the gigantic blade of um, uh, Cesare is already on the target again, inflicting other pain and so gaining other um, another blood die. Yep. So you got two blood dice. And, but in the meanwhile, uh, for every die that she gain, your C, uh, your AC is going to decrease by one. So Correct. You, you're exactly so because it is very heavy now, and you are uh, yeah. less able to defend yourself. But it's the turn of the devil now, and of course, uh, is going to try and hit uh, our tyrant here. So uh, he's got multi attack. 
and mm -hmm. uh, he will roll for. So, what's your AC now? Minus it would be two. a fifteen. Fifteen. So, fifteen hits and sixteen. So, it hits with both its uh, its attacks, and it makes. 2d10 plus so Max, two attacks. Max, am I possibly yes. close enough to defend? Because I have the fighting style protection, and I have my shield up. Could I yes. impose disadvantage on this attack? Yes, okay. So you can, you can. So you, you see the Saint Teresa coming right next to you with, his, with her shield and trying to protect you from those attacks. But I made more than before, so it's a it's a seventeen. So good try, it, good try, <laughs> and a nineteen. So, but it was pretty, pretty in character. So, and but I rolled really poorly. So it's three and one four plus six ten damage. Okay. Uh, now you have to make me a Constitution saving throw. Sure. Because these infernal weapons, they can cause pretty bad uh, damages that keep keeps uh, bleeding if your body is not strong enough. Uh, so twenty total. Twenty total. You pass the ta the check, so you're not bleeding at all. So it's ten yeah. damage. That's it. <laughs> okay. And Severino, what you going to do? I am going to regret having anything <laughs> to do with Chesari here, and I'm going to flip a page in my book, and I'll hold out my staff with all of its ornate wonder, and I will cast Firebolt at the devil just so that this can be over and done with. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, roll into hit. Uh, 24 to hit. You hit. All right. And that's going to do 2d10 damage. Do, 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 do. So 14 damage. All right. And that is my turn, I guess. Yes. Yes. Or, or, well, technically, it's only a cantrip. I guess I could do something else. Um, yes. You know what? I'll follow it up with magic missile as well. We may as well get all of the all of the oomph going here. Um, I'm only going to cast it at level one though, just to stay on the realistic right. side of my spell slots. Ooh, Lord, two, <laughs> two more points. <laughs> okay, and that'll be my turn. Yes, and Teresa, to you. Teresa looks at how her shield was just batted aside. Um, and she'll heft the long banner that is glowing white fabric yes. and she'll stab upwards and inwards into this uh, chest cavity of this skeletal devil. The Lord banishes you. And uh, I will roll. Yes, I forgot a pretty big thing now that you all have uh, but it was a one for Doug, so it didn't matter. But you all have, uh, you are all under the effect of bless, oh. like the oh. like the 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 the, the magic okay. spell. Because until Teresa uh, does not inflict damage with uh, her um, spear, mm -hmm. the the banner, the white and the divine white banner <laughs> that she carries. Uh, just you know warms your hearts and souls and spirits oh. giving you this bless so um awesome. but you all made made you know super mm -hmm. uh rolls so it wasn't really but if she if she hits now It'll you all lose this but <laughs> yes. i only rolled a three so yeah. i miss anyways oh. so it just more looks dramatic and she'll yeah. hold the banner in front and she'll hold a hand out to Cesare. Right. And uh, as my bonus action, I will cast um, the, what's it called? Shield of Faith. All right. OK. All right, so back to Vieri, I guess. You can see 
right now. Uh, so first of all, you understand because the combat is going on for has, has been going on for a while now that um, some you know uh, the the blades and the, the the you know the the bludgeoning and slashing damages would do probably uh, not a great thing to this to this monster. Although uh, your burden is tormented, so it has just been enhanced by your uh, leveling up. So it counts as a magic weapon. So okay. if, if it was not a magic weapon, all the damages you've done would be halved. But because your weapon is tormented and counts as a magical weapon, it probably is more effective. And uh, Vieri, what you gonna do while uh, you I'm see other devils approaching? As I see other de devils approaching, I am going to uh, uh, yell. Kind of mention. Is there anybody who's who's closest to me at this point? Probably, probably Teresa? me. Severino. Yeah, probably, yes. Severino. Yeah. Those okay. two are in melee with the devil, and I'm sure you're not keen on that. Yeah, so. no, I'm not. Uh, I'll, I'll be like, <laughs> Severino, uh, are, we're getting a lot of attention here. Um, we we better might we, we might want to wrap this up real real quick. Wrap this? I didn't even start this. I'm trying to help them wrap it up. <laughs> Put um, a bow I, on it. I, I will. Uh, I will then. Uh, kind of duck behind Severino and uh, take my crossbow and like put it put it like right next to his his head and fire it so so that I'm in back of Severino as I'm as I'm doing this. All right. Um, We're gonna have a talk about that later. <laughs> uh, that is a twenty-one. So it hits. That's a one, two, four, six damage. All right. And I think that you know this this um, dart finally you know hits right the middle of the skull of the the devil right where you know like a Robin Hood right where uh, the tyrant hit the skull before and it crushes it and you see this devil just crumbling down turning to basically like anything else in hell when when something die it turns to ashes and dust and then we'll probably respond later somewhere and uh, as soon as the devil uh, falls down another one takes his place it is smaller than the one that you have just killed and it is thinner and it's got, uh, you don't know how you could say it because uh, their, you know, their eyes are empty and they're just, you know, s skulls basically. But you could say that he is uh, kind of uh, a smart guy. And uh, as soon as he touches the ground and he looks at you and he uh, also put away his sword and uh, tells you, so, I think you might help me with something. Let me tell you, what you've done here is wrong and could be punished very um, badly by my kind. But as a matter of fact, I am in need of something that you might do in exchange of your lives. Or else I could call my colleagues, the other devils, and turn you to dust. Clever devil. Hurry up. Spit out your plan with your forked tongue. Oh, so let me first introduce myself. I am Calcabrina. And uh, I have already seen some of your kinds during this eternal life that I am dealing with here you are lost ones right it yes. is how you say i, I yes, believe I, so i'll lower I can... my sword too yeah good choice big guy and uh, you know 
ah, I'm so, so glad I find somebody like you. You know, it's so boring here uh, all day long with these damn useless souls. But now I can have some, you know, delight and some fun with you. And uh, let me tell you, I have a bit of a problem. Um, I lost a soul. So I was to punish a soul that tried to escape the, the queue, the column. And, uh, but, you know, I didn't want to. I was like, yeah, he will f eventually come back. But now it's becoming a problem because he has disappeared from too much time for my likes. And I would prefer to not encounter the Minas uh, judgment myself. You all know that Minas, uh, as at least that's what your guide told you. Minas is the uh, is the ancient Greek ki Greek king that Dante put uh, in front of the second door to judge the damned souls with his snake tail, and uh, so it is probably something that devils do fear, hmm. and. Um, that's what he what he tells you to start with. You fool. You have lost a soul that the Lord himself has sent down here to be punished. Unexcusable. <laughs> yes. Um, so are you going to hurt me or what? Do I have to say to all my guys and that you have just destroyed one of ours? Well, we could put it this way. We can help you, but we need to get in the front of the line. <laughs> Why? We're just passing because through. we need to get through. In the front of the line, there's Menace. We're yes. prepared He's... to face Menace, yes. You are prepared to face Menace? Ha! <laughs> That's that's totally that's totally not the case, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I like you. You see, I knew that you were the right ones. Yes, uh, you will be fun. You will be so much fun. Finally, eternity is paying back. Um, if there's one so, thing we can do, it's entertain. <laughs> yeah, I see. Uh, so um, I'm looking for. Uh, some soul called Massimo. That's all I can say about it. And Please tell me he, he doesn't look anything like these people. Yes, a bit. He was a young guy. Uh, he was very sad. He was crying. He was asking for forgiveness. He was saying he had to find, I don't remember, somebody. But, uh, you know, I don't care. That's just... <laughs> That I don't care, and I wanted to destroy him, but he was, you know, like, like, like a fish. And he, he just um, dodged my attack and went away. And I didn't want to fly. You know, it's it's really boring. Can you do this oh. for me? What? What? Uh, let's say that I can take you in front of the line. Uh, I could, or, I could do so, or, yes. Or better yet, I mean, uh, if you want to take us straight to the, the door, to the next level of hell. That's, uh, that that's, 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 that's okay. All right, we can do this too. Yeah, no problem. Great, really we can easy. just skip the line all together. I mean, it's a little too easy, but uh, yeah. you know what? <laughs> Cesare, I do not believe this one. Who believes devils? If you want, you can make an inside check. Okay. I shall. Oof. Is that Let's... a good oof or a bad oof? Uh, well, I just I only have a plus one, so it's oh, not a great so oof. <laughs> yeah. But let's see what I roll. I rolled a four. <laughs> four. So, so I have a total of five. Yeah, you know that you can't trust devils, but yeah. you are not able to uh, discern if this devil is in fact telling the truth or not listen 
and I'll say I'll say this to to Teresa, like kind of off to the side. I try not to say it too loud. Uh, you know, e- even if he's lying, uh, we'll just kill him afterwards. Don't worry. I mean, you saw his body turn to dust. Uh, he won't get away with it if he doesn't take us there. Exactly. I nope. see. You know. Okay. <laughs> Mm, yeah, yeah. He does. Just, I mean, if I got to make an example of all of these uh, devils, and uh, you know, an example, make a porridge out of their dust. What? I I will do so. So understand the scale. Sure. <laughs> you know what? I could I could do it. I could take it on. At, at some point, uh, you know, there's not going to be enough of them left when I'm done. Be like a blender. I think there's yes. going to be lots of them left. I don't like I said. You don't understand the scale of what we're dealing with here. I think there's an no, endless no, there, supply there, of them. There's no hell too big that can t- contain me. I agree. Okay. I agree. You have nothing to fear. So please go and find my guy. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm going to. He's, he's a little too encouraging. <laughs> I'm. Gonna, I'm going to lean into uh, Severino while I'm still in back of him and like kind of go like. This guy doesn't seem to be on the up and up, and I'm I'm kind of an expert in that kind of in that field. If you keep poking me in the back with that crossbow, you and I are going to have a problem. <laughs> it's it's not a crossbow. <laughs> I'm, just gonna walk, I'm just going to okay. I'm just walking away from him anyway. Um, There's a specific circle for that, sir. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, mm. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess is this is this the best description we can get? Like, there's hundreds of thousands of of damn souls here. We're supposed to pick one. Yes, but this one is probably hiding back there, and he points right in. Into, there are some uh, uh, some rocks. There are canyons. You you left behind some canyons. So he's not in the line. There. No, he's not in the line at all. He escaped. So, gotcha. Ran away. So and he points in a in a specific direction to a specific okay. canyon. So you could yeah. this well, we can do. Ranger, and, you've got tracking skills, right? Yes, he does. I mean, a ranger? Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I would I hope am. so. Well, so far, he's been most more of a rogue. I I, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knows what he has. I mean. But, uh, if you've yes. got tracking skills, come on, get get your sniffer out and let's go, Scooby Doo. Okay, you can make a survival check. All right, all right, I mean, <laughs> do that. Uh, that's so a twenty-one. You, that's a twenty-one. So, okay, so you start walking towards okay. the the canyon in, the, in that pointed by the the devil. That you know, if you look back to the devil, you you can see him. So like what you yes go go mm. yeah I don't do I don't I, I'm I don't like this I don't like this and uh, and Vieri such a chicken I got your back and Vieri starts looking for uh, tracks the fact is that you know he rolled so much that he is basically spotting every single uh, boot print <laughs> that you have left while coming in here. Uh, the fact is that uh, you discover that um, apart from your uh, tracks, uh, there are no tracks at all. And there's, you know, hundreds, thousands of souls that must have walked through here. But there's no such a track. You know, n- there's nothing. And probably the incorporeal nature of those souls has something to do with it. Mm-hmm. So, the one yes. time you roll really high, <laughs> it, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't come always, into play. It's always like this. Always. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Vieri, I have a question for you. Sure. What's, as, what's up? As we have demonstrated, we can walk through these souls. So, how is it that they lay footprints? What advanced tracking technique is this? Um, it's it's instinct. Ah, uh, the, the Lord is guiding you. Yes, yes, that's exactly what it is. Yes, exactly. I 
something that I've learned over many, many years to just trust my instinct and trust my gut and also that the God stuff that you just uh, just said. God has given you your instincts. Lean yeah, upon yeah. his wing and he will not lead you astray. Absolutely. Absolutely. I totally, I totally agree with that. And I'm just going to keep walking and kind of. I'm just going to sit in the background making faces constantly for like the next five minutes. Like, I'm very doubtful. <laughs> so uh, you finally reach the, the canyon, even though there are no tracks to to, to look. And, uh, it looks rocky and pretty dark. There's not really sounds that could, uh, you know, there's, there's no, it, you know, it's, it, it's not a really, a real not natural environment. So there are no animals there. The, the, the only thing that you can hear <clears throat> is the moaning and lamenting of the, the crowd that you left behind. And uh, that's it. I, I will definitely be on guard. Um, weapon out but still advancing forward i'll still follow behind um and, Ferrari. and uh, your uh, your guide that is following you with with the lantern and the divine flame says to you you've been uh what what you did back there was dangerous caesar yeah what you all did there was dangerous what if not that devil, uh, but hundreds of other devils had come to to revenge, you know, to, to vengeance, to, to, to punish you. There's I, things you should not do here. Yeah, like pick a fight with thousands. Well, it, it's my nature. It's my way, you know. I know. I know, Caesar. It's I, and you are strong and, and, and powerful. And there is no, uh, you know, we weren't given a, a handbook when we got down here. It's not like they have, <laughs> you know, the handbook for the recently deceased, just laying in a waiting room, you know, upon arrival. So, uh, you know, yes, I, I got to, I got to go with my instincts. And uh, if you, if you slay enough uh folks they will <laughs> yes they but will it's love. your instinct you have to fight here i told you you have to pay attention you have to 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 think you have to try and not be the animal you were and that brought you here to be this that you are now my dear guide, if I may. Yes. Caesar, your instinct. And, and Caesar just hit the guide. <laughs> <laughs> Caesar, your instincts are not of God. No, I never said they were. No, I, I, I wished to impart this wisdom upon you. They are not of God. And perhaps you should consult Vieri, who is learning to trust the instincts of God. You mean you mean you mean the coward who can't track anything? Uh, it is not cowardice, but temperance. I am it's sure. not cowardice to hide in a crowd behind <laughs> behind other souls and or 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 the wizard who is probably weaker than him. And shoot over his shoulder. It is prudence. What if what if it, that crossbow went off uh, and, and jammed again? Just saying. <laughs> we do not have to worry about the what ifs. The Lord our God is with us and will guide His bolts. All right. All I'm right. a little I'm a little loath to defend um, Teresa in this instance, but. I We've already proven that you got here because of a wrong. You've uh, since committed another wrong. How many uh, wrongs do you think it's going to take you to make a right? Uh, two. Several, you know. Well, we're already past two. Exactly. So this is right. 
<laughs> no, well, okay, I can <laughs> You know, you know, I can see where you're going. I can see where you're going. But I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, you know what? So, wh Fine. She she the sword. What do you want me to do? Let us so, find this Massimo. Yes, is he you... at the front of the line? So are we going back? No, this is okay. No, Massimo was in the cannon. So while yeah. you're talking, so uh, both Vieri and uh, uh, Cesare, you can hear some mumbling noises behind a rock that's uh, thirty feet away. All right. I'm I'm gonna hold my hand up and be like to to stop Cesare and be like, do you hear that? Yeah. Teresa, why don't you go over and talk to it? No, wait. What? We should figure out what it is first. Let's get some information about this situation first before we just dive right in, man. I'm not diving in. Yeah, yeah. You're, sending, you're sending Teresa in. No, I'm saying she should go talk to it. Say hi. How you doing? Yeah. Have you met God today? It is never a bad idea to ask someone if they've met God today. However, exactly. However, I, I'm on your side, Teresa. I'm I'm embracing the inner goodness. Let's you know. All I'm I, saying is before we dive in and go to approach these, maybe we should get to a different angle and see who who it is we're dealing with. Exactly, I agree. All right. So I'm I'm going to try to uh, stealthily your way, okay. Sneak around and and see what uh, see see what the who's creating this mumbling. Okay, you can uh, roll me a stealth check. That is a twenty-seven. Oh. Oof. Well, uh, <laughs> you you see, uh, Vieri disappear probably. He just, you know, uh, goes behind just behind a rock, and then he's gone. Straight up, bad. and uh, yes, and you are following shadows inside of this canyon, you know, rock after rock, and you come to a spot from which you can see pretty clearly the the source of the uh, moaning and mumblings, and there is. What you will describe as a soul, a damned soul, with, uh, you know, he is in fact young and uh, pretty tall and thin, and he's got shifty eyes. And um, even, even though he's dead, but he's got this uh, very peculiar eyes. And uh, he is uh, basically sobbing and crying and. Uh, Talking to it himself, you know. It's... All right. And you can hear him say, "How can I do? How can I do? I have to find him. I, I have to ask for his forgiveness. He's got to forgive me. He has to. I didn't want to." Something like this. All right. I will uh, come back to the group. Stealthily come back to the group and uh, relay the relay what I saw to uh, to the rest of the party. Ah, uh, I, I didn't even know you were gone. <laughs> Perhaps I should speak with this one. It probably wouldn't hurt. Cesare. <laughs> It's always good to take precaution and to get all the information and facts ahead of time. I think he's actually. I, I'm just saying. This, this, I'm yeah. agreeing. Uh, yeah. I think Teresa. This is a great uh, time to that was that use... was not his skeptical look. That exactly. Was, that was this look. This is. Uh, See, the, this is no sword is, in his hand. That's how you can tell. This is Teresa's time to shine. Emily feels very thrown under the bus right now. <laughs> and, so you agrees. and so you should. Emily. <laughs> so, Teresa will nod. The wisdom of God moves through you both. 
and she will stride out towards this lost and for forsaken soul. All right. Massimo, is that your name? Oh, uh, yes, it is. And you see that he kind of tried to, I don't know, do what, but he, he stands up and stands back a little and looks at you and look, you know, he is trying to look if there's somebody with you. And he's like, are you with the devils? I go with God, my child. And I stand tall with my white flowing hair, the veil across my eyes, and a glimmering silver and crimson halo above my head. Yes. And like, oh Lord, this is a miracle. Oh, please help me. And he just bend over and, and just, you know, reaches your feet and is like, please, please help me. Of course. And I'll place a hand upon this sobbing child's head. Know that the Lord is always with you. Do not be shaken. He hears your plight. Oh, God. But... Does he, does the Lord hear us and see us here in this dark and terrible place? God has made all things and thus he sees all things. Unfortunately, sometimes we must bear the punishment for our sins, but that does not mean his mercy is not with us. But I'm as so long as scared. if we persevere, we will once again fall into his loving embrace. But you must face him. You must face the weight of the past so that you may step forward into the glory of your future. So first of all, I'm giving you divine inspiration. So one yeah. point of inspiration. Okay. Uh, it is called in Inferno uh, divine inspiration because... Um, apart from all the um, common use of inspiration, you can use it to take, uh, you know, to have advantage of, on some roles um, and some other things. With the mind uh, inspiration, you can <clears throat> spend it to roll a d4 and uh, spend the result. You know, when you when you when you spend uh, hope points, you can roll a d4 and spend uh, less hope points based upon the number that you roll. So if you respawn and you should lose three hope points and you have a divine in, uh, inspiration, you can roll a d4 and maybe just not losing uh, points at all. You know? So cool, 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 yeah. cool characterization. Yes. You did fabulously so under that bus. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. And... Uh, um, so Massimo just uh, um, step. I mean, he is still with his knees on the on the on the terrain on the floor, and but he looks up at you, and he's probably seeing this silvery and you know lights uh, just all around you, and says, "Okay, uh, fine. I I could surely." get in front of the judge of hell and confess my sins. I made a lot of mistakes in my life and I indulge in vices all life long. But please, there's one thing that I have to do before that moment. I have to ask for forgiveness to my brother. I saw my brother in the line just a few steps in front of me. I tried to to reach for him, but that devil tried to, to kill me and destroy me. And I don't want it. It's I don't know how many times I've tried. My brother is always there. I call for him, but I don't know. It's like he... he he can hear me. He, he can't hear me. I don't know. He never turns back, but I know it's him. Please bring me to my brother. Please do that, and I will be 
completely fine with bearing my punishment when the time comes. The Lord does urge us to face the people we have wronged and ask for their forgiveness. I will aid you in your quest. We will absolve you of this sin before you face the judger. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. Come, and she'll raise him to his he feet. Yes, he stands up, and he is looking at you with, with, I would say with hope, even though there's no hope in his soul at the moment. So you, you all see Teresa coming back from the, from the rocks with uh, Massimo's soul just right behind her. Well done, Teresa. I see you've found our wayward soul. All praise goes to God. Praise God. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it needs to be bowing. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I will rest my hand on the hilt of my blade, but keep it sheathed, just still on the defensive. All right, I guess we will lead him back to the line, or are we going to the line or the devil? Probably. That sounds really terrible. Let's to try line, and hit you know. the line first and find the brother. Find yeah, the brother I think that's for probably... half a moment. Yeah, yeah, Teresa will explain along the way that we must give this soul a chance to atone for sins of the past. We? Yes, we must find <laughs> Massimo's brother. No, no, I'm talking about the atonement. Uh, but yes, that's fine. We can do that, yeah. Yes. What is your brother's it, name, Massimo? It's called Andrea. Andrea. Andrea, yes. are you here? And she'll call out to the line as they walk alongside it. <laughs> and uh, you can see that nobody really answers to your call. You also can see that... Uh, Calcabrina, the devil that um, uh, just gave you the, the, the quest, the mission, is now busy with some damn souls uh, a few feet away from you. And you might have a chance to look for the brother, in fact. And uh, even though nobody answers you, you can see Massimo pointing his finger to one particular soul. You, you, you probably can't can't understand right now which soul it is, but you can spot the at least the place where the soul should should be. You know, it, it's him, it's him, it's Andrea, my brother. Quickly, Massimo, we must catch up. So you all run toward. I mean, run. Uh, you, you you walk at a certain yeah. speed towards this this them souls. I, and, I let uh, them take the lead. I'll I'll bring up the rear. Okay, and uh, you can see at a certain point, um, this man that mm, Massimo tries to reach, that appears uh, as a stout young man with a thick, dark beard, and uh, he is dressed in some, you know, rich mm, merchant business uh, clothes, and uh, you can see that he turns to towards um, Massimo, and uh, for 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 a moment, it looks like he doesn't even recognize him. He doesn't even recognize him, and he is going like to go back to the position he were before. But there's a a sparkle that starts to uh, form into his face and a sort of angry expression starts to form on his uh, on his face and turns back to Massimo again and in the very moment that Massimo reaches finally reaches for his brother his brother just put his hands on his neck and he just growls, doesn't even speak, just growls. And there's Massimo there, goes, no, brother, don't, please forgive me. Oh, That's the scene that you see. 
at this point, I'm gonna be like, well, it's 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 family drama. I guess uh, I, I want to stay out of it. So, uh, the, the Lord must enlighten Andreas as well. Please release your brother, and I'll tap the ground with my banner to gain the attention. A ripple going through the white fabric of it. Okay, I, I'm uh, gonna slowly draw my sword. Uh, standing at the back of the group, you know, just so that they don't notice, but I'm getting getting it out. Just okay, looking so, at it. <laughs> what a lovely sword. Yeah, did you see this? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, uh, Emily, roll me an intimidation check with advantage due to the presence of Cesare right behind you with this big <laughs> burden. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Um, and you said that this was a persuasion. Is that right? Uh, intimidate, intimidate, oh, intimidation. Intimidation. That's right. Intimidation. They're yes. both six. Okay. So I got a yes. uh, twenty-three. Okay. Wow. So you see that immediately, <clears throat> Andrea just um, stops um, suffocating his brother, and. Uh, uh, you know, this strangler man is now looking at you and looking at his brother, and he's clearly confused. So uh, it's, it's still um, um, it's still angry. You can see the, let's call them veins, on, on the side of his head, and you can see his teeth um, just crushing on, on, on them. On, and... And, but he, if, in fact, stops and looks at you and look at his brother. And it's, and it's like, what? What are you doing here? After all you've done to me? And it's like, please forgive me. Forgive me. I've made many mistakes. But look, this lady, she told me that. All need a chance to be forgiven, and I will never forgive you. Never get away. And you can see, Vieri, as you step back a bit, and you you don't want to have to, you know, nothing to do with this. And uh, you see that Calcabrina, with with uh, with um, with no hurry at all, has probably spotted you, and he is floating towards you with uh, this, you know, it's like he's ready to have fun. And uh, and it's coming at you. But still, the, the two brothers are like having this conversation in front of Teresa and Cesare and uh, Severino too. And they're like just debating on with, you know, the... Massimo tries to gain uh, Andrea's forgiveness, but he's not really inclined to forgive him. You understand that Massimo was a, you know, a thief, uh, profiteer, a one who claimed to be able to cheat even the devil in life, probably. And uh, he cheated his brother many times. And, you know, his brother ha had uh, a commercial activity. He was wealthy. And, uh, you know, he's the typical situation when one of the two is the black sheep and always, you know, went to grab money from his brother but never uh, saying, I'm changed, I've changed, I'm a different person now, but never, that never happened. So this is the situation. Mm-hmm. Oh, Vieri, do you want to have a chance to let God move through you and advise upon this situation? Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me tell you this thing. So, the more they debate, the more they talk to each other, the more their uh, faces and becomes clear and takes uh, probably a more realistic form to what they were in life. So it's like they're almost becoming alive uh, on a certain, under a certain point of view. And 
these are specific moments in the game where uh, we can activate a specific mechanic uh, related to the bonds. So uh, in fifth edition, the backgrounds of the characters are made of uh, traits, bonds, ideals, and flaws. So it's in Inferno, those things are uh, not they're not on your sheet. You, 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 you don't find them on the sheet. You can see vices and virtues. Yep. They are the, the, the things that you can use to, in fact, uh, try to interpret or uh, gain um, divine inspiration, for example. But they're also, on the back of the sheet, an area for bonds. But you have to kind of unlock them. So when you find... So since Dante, in the Dante comedy, you know, there's tons of souls in, uh, in, in hell, but every single soul that Dante meets during his journey is the soul of somebody that he knew in life. So he never met, he never meets some, somebody that he doesn't know. And so this is the same thing that will happen to the characters. So we will give in game the possibility, the chance to unlock a bond uh, whenever there is an NPC. So a character might choose to say, okay, I want, for example, Massimo to be related to my character. So maybe we were dear friends when we were kids, or maybe I was uh, uh, his sister, or maybe, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a sort of uh, moment where we do something about our characters. We, of course, we create something about our character that we can later on translate into a, a trait uh, line, a trait phrase, a, tra a, a, a real trait that we can later use um, as, a, as, a, as a background trait. So if any of you want to maybe unlock this uh, trait with Massimo or Andrea, you can all do it, of course. And, um, of course, role play the same uh, uh, consistently with that, with that, uh, with that uh, the thing, I mean. But you can also not do it at all. Just, Does it cost a resource? Does it cost hope or anything? No, no. It's just a background thing. Cool. Hmm. That is I, I like that. I feel like since uh, since Massimo kind of he kind of swindled his brother, you know, in 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 his life, I feel like that's kind of you know something that I am used to doing. So maybe you know Massimo and I, pretty much we we kind of maybe ran in the same circles. Yeah, probably. You know? While we were, uh, so, so maybe I, I know Massimo that way. Probably, yes, it could yeah. be, it could be a great, a great uh, idea. Yes, you would probably know him because of business partners, B business partners, yes, Biz exactly. business partners, yeah, <laughs> yes. So you unlock a bond with Massimo, and okay. you suddenly understand that you know that that guy and you know probably his uh story with this brother and you could maybe help or not it's 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 up to you of course um yeah i'm i'm gonna step in and be like um you know uh, you can do whatever you want ever. You, you, yeah you I'm, can, I'm just you, gonna step in and be like and be like you, you know we're at the point here where you know, holding grudges and, and everything is not going to do any of us any good. So we should all atone and, and repent and, and accept each other's previous mistakes because, you know, we've all, we're all at the same point now. So why not, uh, why not change from here on to improve? I think he, I think that's. You see, Andrea looking at you, angry as it was before, and he says, 
what do you know? What do you know about him and me? You don't even know our our stuff, our family, what he did to me. What well, do I, you know? How can you speak for him? I, Massimo and I have similar traits, I guess you could say. We had similar traits, and I don't want him to end up cold and heartless like this form that I have. Let him atone and repent for his and redeem himself in your eyes. Mm. And you see Massimo uh, looking at you and saying, uh, so, uh, Vieri? Yes. Yes, it is, is it me. Is your voice? It... Oh, God. How? What happened to you? I'm... Please tell him. You know why I did this. You you know it. I needed the money. Those guys were up we, to kill me. You know this. Please tell him. I I know. I know. we we all tried to do what we could to survive and to make make do. I yes. I please. He he was just doing what what he had to do in order. Oh. Okay, so roll me a persuasion check with advantage, uh -oh. and there's an advantage because you uh, you have this bond with Massimo, so you can uh, you can really relate to him. <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that's, a, that's an eighteen. Eighteen is yep. let me see this the DC that we made. Okay, so you can see. Um, the face of uh, you know you can see uh, Andrea calming down a bit and just uh, breathing heavily. It's like so you knew him. You say he he has to do what he did. He felt like that was his only yeah. option at that time. Mm. Well. I guess that my forgiveness won't really change a thing for him since we're all here to be judged and then damned for eternity. So I can forgive you, brother, but I guess this place won't. So you have my word, I Whenever I think of you again as a bad person, but just as a brother, this is all I can do. And you can see Massimo start, he starts to crying, and he's like, thank you, thank you, brother. And, and you can see this, I mean, it's not even a clap because it's made of bones. And you see, such a spectacular show. Oh my God, this was intense. <sighs> Do not oh. take the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, it's not in vain. Uh, the show was so good. Thank you. Oh. So you found the guy. Is it, is it him? Yes, it is. Um, so we're we're good, right? We're fine. This was the. Well, well what was it? Uh, the deal was you would take us to the head of the line. Yes. Oh, yes. To the next yes. level. Or to, yes. well, to the, is, is that not the doorway to the next level? Is the head of the line? Uh, you you have to go. There's a door uh, that mm, uh, basically takes, uh, goes um, underground uh, to the next circle. So there's no okay. other way to pass but through the door. Exactly. It's it's a uh, Dante's Inferno is a hole in the ground that for when God just yeah. slammed in on Earth, and it's a hole. So you're all you're always descending. Okay. And um, and he's like, all right, yes, that was the deal. Um, uh, okay, we can do this. Uh, and he whistle, and you can see four devils coming towards you and he's like please 
you, and he points at Cesare, yep. <laughs> put back the sword. They are not find you. They are not me. And uh, we can all go together in front of the door with Minos. All right. Deal with you. Yes, the door. We can go. Okay, you see, in fact, it's true. Those devils just uh, take you from the shoulders, and but they don't, they don't attack you or do nothing threatening. They just take you and starts flying, and they bring you uh, all up in the air, this dark air that surrounds all the column, and starts flying... Oh, uh, just beyond and over the the queue uh, towards uh, the door. Um, so it's four devils for Teresa, Cesare, Severino, and the guide, but not for Vieri. Vieri just is still on the ground, and you can see Calcabrina, the devil that is uh, has been talking mm -hmm. to you and dealing with you. And is, so thank you very much. Now uh, just let me do one a uh, little thing, and then I can take you and, um, you know, bring you with, with your other companions. Just one small thing. Just wait for me a minute, uh, and you can see Calcabrina going right behind Massimo that is still, you know, uh, trying to embrace his brother, and mm -hmm. with his uh, sword, he just put it in the back oh. of Massimo, and you can see... <laughs> Massimo becoming dust and ashes. <laughs> and Kakabrina just puts back his sword and goes, so we're good. We can go. Your services were so great. Thank you very much. Let's go. He takes you by the shoulder and you fly, you know, right back, uh, you know, uh, reaching for your partners. He did say uh, he was there to punish him, I guess. <laughs> And uh, oh, flooded. Yeah. You see, you see, this column is infinite. You, the more you fly on, the less you start to think you will ever see the end of this queue. It's, it's, it's something you know. It's, it's miles and miles, and this is what happens in 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 hell. Sometimes some things aren't actually infinite by description so there are some 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 things like the acheron river that uh dante says it's infinite so how do he cross it he just uh falls asleep and when he wakes up he's on the other on the other side mm -hmm. of the river that's the 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 way he describes it so at a certain point by the way you start to see this big huge door inside of the terrain that is probably uh, taking you underground to the next level. And in front of the door, there is this colossal thing. It's, uh, it's human, at least uh, it's humanoid. And he's uh, a muscular thing with a creepy face and a crown of bones that just comes out of his skull. And he's got this huge, very long uh, snake tail uh, with which he judges the, the dam that he's got in front of him. And you can see him while you approach, uh, say, it says, and the dam souls just says, you can see him despairing, and then Minos, which is this huge creature you see, just uh, turns back, look at the door behind him, the door opens up, and the damn souls just walk into it. Then the door closes again, Minos turns back, and another soul starts walking in front of him. So that's how he basically judges. And when you are watching this, you can see all together the the devil's um, how you say it? the 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 planche. Uh, 
uh, the grip, the grip, sorry, the grip of the devils just going away and you all fall down just in front of Minos and you all had to make a dexterity saving throw because the oh, fall dear. is pretty, yes, you were like six, seven meters up, so it's like uh, uh, 10 feet, no, not 10, 20 feet in the air. Oof. That's a seven. Five. All right. So anybody who doesn't make a 12 is taking five damage. Okay. Ooh, okay. okay. I'll be a member of the five damage club. Yeah, I am as, I am as well. I'm wearing robes and carrying a staff and a book. I can't exactly break my own fall. <laughs> I'm like a rock. Just... Phew. <laughs> yes, there are some okay. things um, like Severino, for example, can't actually and literally not hold his, op his items. I'm, I'm like this all the time. I can't, I can't do exactly. anything. Exactly. <laughs> because as in life... You were free to try to just keep everything you had. Now you can uh, just let can't it go. Let anything go. So yeah. you, exactly. Even my robes are covered with like jewels and stuff that I've just basically like woven in over time, and I'm just slowly. I'm like a giant Katamari Damacy. <laughs> Anything I bump into, it just sticks to me. <laughs> Um, Good thing we don't have to eat in hell. No, you, you don't have to. And even rest is something very... I mean, it works like 5th edition, but it's not, you know, the 8 hours are not really a thing. We're you just sleeping, rest. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, you just rest. You don't even sleep at all. So, you... So, you fall down taken uh, and, and you, you're hurt and you suddenly feel the breath of the imposing monsters infernal judge and it is this breath is like a hot steam uh stinking as a pile of rotting carcasses you know uh, corpses mm. and uh this is um the the, the situation is uh, that of um, it's pretty terrifying for you right now. Uh, this m m thing is really colossal. He is terrifying, and um, he you can hear Calcabrina uh, laughing while he flies away, <laughs> and uh, then the voice of Minos which is like a hundred voice altogether. And you can hear him from the front, from the back, from the, from the sides. You know, it's like his voice is all around you while he speaks. And he's like, what are you doing here? Yeah, lost souls. We are here to pass through the gate to the next level. You Our won't. journey is not yet complete. What journey? The only thing that is going to pass through that door is a damn soul that I have judged. You are not even dead. Although I can smell sense all around you, inside out of your pitiless soul. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Turn uh -oh. back. We can't turn back. We can only go forward. That is our path. This is not what is going to happen. This is my last word. You warned only. Go back to the city of Limbo. Go drown in the Akron River. I don't care. You will never pass this door. Hmm. This is pretty. I'm so wondering he, how to convince. 
He only judged the damned, correct? Mm-hmm. It's basically what, what, his own punishment. Right. So I'll ask him, well, how how do we get judged? You have to die first. By your hand or my own hand? I don't care. If you try to walk towards that door, it will be by my hand for sure. And then you'll judge me. Right here, right now, and let me through the door. And then you'll be at the end of the line. Well, no, 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 we worked mm -hmm. to get here at the front of the line. So I think you should judge us now. I can't. Oh, then we can just go. I so, can't. I mean, it sounds like he's saying he doesn't want okay, to. Okay. All right. Well, who can? If you can't no. do it, there's got to be someone here bigger and badder than you that can judge us. I, I love how uh, Cesare is basically becoming a, a Karen in this situation and asking to speak <laughs> to the manager. <laughs> exactly. So you can see your guide just, you know, uh, lifting a hand and uh, lifting a hand and say, I'll take it from here. So, mighty minus. These are lost souls, and the divine will told me that I have to take them and bring them until the end of this hell. So we must pass. This is the divine will. This is what we are doing as a journey. This is the Lord asking for it. And... For those who know the Divine Comedy, this is basically, you know, every time, you know, Dante had a guide, which was Virgilio, Virgil, and he basically said that same, very same thing to every, uh, like, uh, obstacle uh, on the journey. And everybody was like, okay, it is divine intervention. Okay, you can pass. Sorry. But this is not what is going to happen now. You can see, in fact, <laughs> the snake tail of Minas very high in the dark sky and just slamming down just upon your guide. And you can see this boom and the dust just coming up from the ground. And you see the lantern just rolling over in front of your feet. And when the uh, tail just litters back, uh, to, to, to turn around one of Minas' legs, there's no trace at all of your guide. And uh, you have to roll initiative. Absolutely. Yes. I so. <laughs> um, yeah. And I rolled a one, so Minas Ooh. is not really that well, bad. I also rolled Ten. a one, so meh. <laughs> I, I rolled a 21. Nice. All right. I rolled a 15. Okay. 10. Uh, who was the 10? Uh, Severino? Yeah. Yes. Nope, that's uh, Cesare. Josh. Josh Cesare. Yeah. Okay. Yep. yep. And Severino, how much? I rolled a, well, I rolled a 1, but the plus oh, 1. The 1, right. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Minus, but I think that Minus just asked before you. It's just a uh, no. It's got a plus zero, so yes. <laughs> you go first. Uh, so Severino and Menos. So I will go very quickly to the bathroom, and then I'll be back for the. Okay. Have a good. Uh, as like our guide is literally smushed. Yeah. Uh, Teresa will turn to Cesare, I can't say this name, Cesare, and uh, say, I believe we will be needing your sword for some divine punishment. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, now you want me to pull it yeah. out. Now you so, want me to... Wait. So now, one of the things that, so that I have... talking is over. Ching. So spark, one, spark. One, one, one of the, uh, one of the uh, traits that I have, um, I, I can embrace sin, and I can use uh, two hope points. I can basically get rid of two hope points, and it, uh, whatever creature I hit uh, is restrained until the, my next turn. Oh, that's nice. I can spend so, two, hit, two hope points to uh, make a critical hit. Oh, okay, so so let's uh, let's use so some of these oh. these hope points because I think yeah. that that's probably going Ooh. to come into play. And I'm glad I attacked that first one because now I still had the blood dice. Nice. Where did you see? guys see what you can spend your hope on? I think I just spend my hope to give other people hope. It's it's on your second page. Okay, it's under additional features and traits. Okay, yeah, yeah mine's just to uh, give hope. So I can spend two yeah. hope to give you guys hope if you oh, nice. run dry. I, I can, nice. For me, it's uh, I can spend two hope points to cast a spell without spending its spell slot. Ooh. So, yeah. Oh, he's back. Shh. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we, we were all Stop conspiring the against the GM. <laughs> this is this is what happened. This clever plan. About that's how we're that's what win. that's what happens, Max. When you leave, when you when you have uh, a bio break in our sessions, we all kind of conspire against you. You said you were different. <laughs> he lied. He said, "Yes, I can bring some good guys on the show, but no, <laughs> they're all the same every time." And they brought Josh. No, <laughs> exactly. He's an uh, excellent bad guy. I like well, being the bad guy. Yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> they're all sinners, so I mean, exactly. <laughs> I, I just I enjoy mine more than y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to be damned. Um, all right, so um, just tell me. Uh, so the first in line is Vieri once again. Yep. So you can uh, you can see uh, it, there's nothing you can do. He's just um, killed your guy and he destroyed it. Um, and he is probably going to try to sing with you. Sure. That's what you see in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Not very inclined to do something different. So I'm, I'm going to take out uh, my black horns, which is my crossbow, and I'm going to run and uh, shoot him into the eyeballs. All right. You uh, Now that you point at his eyeballs you can see his eyes are pretty peculiar they are made mm -hmm. of stone okay still they look alive but they're pretty strange okay uh that is a 19 a 19 hits for sure yes it hits all right and that is going to do eight points of damage and and I want to spend two uh, hope points to uh, embrace sin and um, basically make the, the creature is restrained until my next turn. All right. Grabbed him by his big old snake tail. <laughs> um, all right. So it's like... Um, uh, the the bolt that you uh, just shoot, um, you just shot, is mm -hmm. in ice uh, around the 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 wound that it made, and that's what is probably going to uh, give Minos this restraining. And uh, before Tarit, so um, how many damage? Uh, how that was damage? eight eight damage. All right. So before Teresa, because she would be the next in line, but this big bad guy has got some layer actions that starts at uh, initiative count 20. So I will rule them casually because I don't want to choose. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot. So it's going to be. All right. Uh All right, perfect. So um, right now you can see 
that the snake tail is going to turn around the uh, an envelope, the leg of Minos. So uh, the Divine Comedy says that the the number of circles that the tail makes uh, around the um, Minos' Minos's legs uh, is the circle that the damned is going to be confined in. So, for example, if it's going to be destined to pass eternity in the second circle, it's going to be two circles around the leg and so on. And you see right now that, in fact, two circles are made uh, on Minos's leg. And uh, uh, you can see that in uh, 40, 40 feet um, from, from Minos, it starts to um, uh, run a fast and strong wind that just uh, pushes you away from him. So you all have to make a constitution, uh, no, a strength saving throw. DC 15. Don't forget that you're blessed. So if you want to, you can uh, add that D4. Good. I always, always forgot about it. Yes, you have a uh, plus, plus D4. I, I critically failed. Ooh. I've only okay, got so 13. I got a natural 20. I, I rolled yeah. a 16. Okay, the so one thing I'm going to roll. Vieri, so, Pierre and Severino are good, uh, while uh, Cesare and Teresa are uh, pushed back six. Uh, so, six meters is like 10 feet away. So, you push 10 feet back, and you're also prone. So okay. you will have to use your movement uh, to, to half of your movement to get back on your feet and then eventually uh, advance towards Minas. And you also, uh, but just one of you, let's make the die choose. So it's a d4, one, two is Cesare, three, four is Teresa. Let's see, it's two. So Cesare, you also take uh four damage because you hit uh, a rock or a okay. fallen column or something you know some piece of solid stuff that just uh making that damage so now teresa can act okay so how far am i away from uh my good friend cesare here so without the map we will have to go with the theater of the mind so you were probably like 40 feet away at least from him. So now you are t 50 feet away from him. 50? Yes. Let's okay, so. so I can't even see him because I can only see 30 feet. Yes, around exactly. Me. Okay. Exactly. So uh, I'll stand and I will move towards half speed, I guess, move towards uh, where I last saw um, mm. the boss. I can't remember his name now. Minos. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You you heard uh, even 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 what I described his voice like uh, all around you, but you can let's say that you know that he was in front of you, okay. uh, so you can run in that direction. Perfect. So you can, okay. So you can move fifteen feet towards the. Towards mm -hmm. minus, and you are now forty-five. No, uh, thirty-five feet away from him. Okay. Right. Um. Yes. Let's, let's say thirty, so that you, in 30. the next moment you'll be there. Yes. Perfect. If not, um, so this wind is still blowing, but so she's got her like her shield up, and the banner is just like whipping in this wind, but she's holding it up as she like makes her way forward. Um, I will use my second action. To get mm -hmm. uh, like side by side with uh, Cesare, and um, is it an action or is it a bonus action to lay on hands? I think it's an action. So I don't think I, I can to... do it this time. I think it's an action. I'll look it up, but uh, she'll say, I will, an heal action, you. Yes. "I will heal you momentarily, friend." 
And then that's all of my actions. <laughs> no, wait, but you moved? Yeah, so I then... moved 15 feet, and then I had to use yeah. my second action to dash to get all the way up to him, I think. Oh, right, right. Yes, you made yep. another move. Right, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, but the fact is that no, because uh, even Cesare was pushed – Push back, mm -hmm. so you didn't have to move in the first place. You oh. just had one move to to, to, to Cesare, so you okay. were all in hands. We okay. we were pushed together. Yeah. Exactly. All right. In that case, I will do a lay on hands of you. I'll say, yes. "God will guide your sword." Now rise up, friend, and uh, I will give you how how much do you how hurt do you look right now? Um, not too bad. Uh, not too bad. Yeah. I thought you took like 10 last time, and then we just took like more. Yeah, nine, I think total of 19 points of damage, but you know. I'll go ahead and give you 15. Okay. Boom. Thanks. Yeah. So, uh, Doug, a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you make one or two attacks? Uh, one I just only. made one. I just made one, yeah. You have an extra attack. And since your crossbow... Uh, don't have the reloading uh, stuff, you can right. make it the second attack right away. So make okay. me another attack. That is a 19. A hit. And I mean, when so, Severino just think, watch it. And that's that's going to be seven, seven points of damage. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. So Severino the Severini. Well, um, seeing that we are not going to get through here in a um, timely fashion and seeing what he just did to both of my compatriots, I am just going to go ahead and zap him in the butt with a lightning bolt. Perfect. Doo -doo -doo. Let me find that spell real quick here. There it is. So did you see how your uh, abilities work with uh, slots that can give you damages and uh, yes. AC bonuses? Perfect. Uh-huh. I did. <laughs> that's why I'm throwing it. <laughs> um, let's see. That's what it's just 36 points of damage plus uh, highest level spell slot is three. So 39 points of damage. That's a lot. With the price of knowledge. Oh, okay. Perfect. So you can he hear the the lightning that abandons uh, the book or the staff of Severino, just going like and hit in Minos right in the chest, and she's like roaring, you know. And uh, you can see, in fact, blood coming out of the wound and, uh, and the, the, the smell of uh, burnt flesh is really tipping your nose right now. And um, uh, Cesare, who was acting before Severino, but it doesn't really change. Yeah, yeah go. Um, well, Do you feel I've got better? Thanks to I feel better, but I got to stand up, and yes. I will move um, fifteen feet. All right. And then if I take the dash action, that allows me to go another thirty feet. Yes. Yep. That's how dash. Yeah. Yes. 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 Exactly. So it's forty-five. So, Your you're near, you're close to him, but not yep. enough to attack him. Right. So, I mean, that's that's all I can do is move up. So hopefully I won't get blown away again. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so Minus, uh, Minus, um, just goes with, um, so first of all, let me see. So, he chooses you, uh, my tyrant, Cesare, to uh, just resist. You have to make me a wisdom saving throw. 
DC 15, he just looks at you and he, he growls again, he roars. And uh, you are pretty, you're starting to feel scared, but let's see how scared you are. A natural 20. Natural 20. So you're not that scared. For, you know, it, he is scary, but not that scary. You you are pretty you know, a fierce guy, so you are going to, uh, to resist it. But still, he tries and uh, to hit you with uh, a shot. Oh, he's so cool. Uh, his big hand. Yeah. So... 15 plus uh, a lot. So I think it hits exactly. Mm -hmm. My spell Shield of Faith wore off, correct? That gave you a plus two to your AC. I think it only lasts 10 minutes. Yes. When did you cast it? In the first fight. Oh, the yeah. first so no. Okay. It's over. Okay. Just making I, I sure. Guess it yes, it's over. Okay. I, I would guess it's over. And you take right away with this uh, slam. Five and one is six plus six is 12 damage. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's 3d8. So let me add a d8. Plus, d8. plus five, so it's 17. 17 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Excellent. Okay. And he has another attack he could do. Sure. And it's still on you because you're the only one inside at a reach right now. So I love it. <laughs> hits again. You still have your blood dice, by the way. Yes, I do. And it's another, well, 15 plus 6, another 21 blood judging damage. Cool. Okay. That's a lot. What did you say? Twenty. Teresa, I'm gonna need you. <laughs> <laughs> For half a second, I thought he said 121. I did too. Oh no! I was no, no, no. on a heart attack. And, and, and not, another 21. Another 21. Sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. So you see, you see Cesare uh, going straight to minus minus that as soon as you see him, first tries to terrify him, doesn't work. So he goes with his hands and boom, boom. You see this dust coming on, and you see probably blood going around the, your poor tyrant, but still he's he's standing up. So, Vieri, your turn. Um, all Just right. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of your flesh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna start to. I, I, gonna try to i don't think see i'm trying to see if i've got anything else that would probably be more effective than what i've got for uh my yeah i i guess i'm just gonna i'm just going to uh shoot him with my crossbow my, with my black horns again right. that seems to be the most effective thing at this point um the first one is a 15 all right so 15 let me look let me see. It's not going to hit. Okay. And the second one is a 12, so that does not hit either. No, no. But uh, is he still restrained? Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's until my next turn. But let's see if it's the end of your next turn or yeah. let's see. Tears of the Old Man. So... No, it's not. Uh, it's the embrace in. It's the embrace in. Until the end of your next turn. So he's, he's right. still restrained and you have advantage. Okay. So roll me another two dice and see if you hit. Uh, that one is 21. So it hits. And that one is 11. So no, I guess one of them so, does so hit. One, one hit, yes. So that is going to be 12 damage. All right. And uh, it should be Teresa's turn, but Minos still <laughs> but... uses his, his, his tail to, let's see. Ooh, so one, 
two, three, four, and five. Okay, so six circle. So you see six times uh, circling around the leg, uh, the, the, the tail, and every, okay, so the sixth circle is where the flames are burning. So you see flames just coming out of Minos in this uh, 40 uh, feet area around him. So it is probably um, involving of sh for sure Caesar, Cesare, for sure Teresa, that what? No, Teresa didn't move, right? Uh, so you moved towards, I moved 15 uh, feet over. You said I was within 30 feet, I think. Yes, I think. So, so just Cesare probably, right? The, the others are pretty far away. Where are you, sure. Severino? Um, well, I would be where we started the confrontation because I was the one talking to him. So, okay, so I would imagine I'm not that remarkably far away. Exactly. So you're you're in. so you're involved, and you okay. all make you and uh, Josh. You make me a DC six, uh, pa, 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 pa. DC fifteen um, dexterity saving throw. Okay, okay. Ooh, eighteen. Good. Uh, 15. Didn't make it. That was 15. Did you use your That's blessing? Good. Yeah, the plus D4. But oh, right. Made I have. Mm. Made it all right. Oh, you made so it. Oh, did it? Oh, I thought. Three, well, okay. That was yeah, six and 11. So halved because you made it. It's right. five damage. Five fire damage. I will uh, smack my robes till the flames go out. <laughs> yes. I see those flames coming out of the of the terrain and burning pretty well. And Teresa, your turn. Teresa will stride forward, her banner held aloft as she charges inwards towards Cesare, who needs her help. Um, when I enter the fire, do I need to make any sort of save? Yes, the same save. Okay. C15, dexterity throw. Whoops, I rolled a d12. That's not going to help me. <laughs> I got a nat 20. Oh, All right. well, that's definitely nice. Nice. Can I, I uh, cinematically be. describe this as I'm walking in and like the, the glory of God is protecting me as I step <laughs> through, guiding my <laughs> steps as I walk as close as I can to uh, my good, violent friend. Uh, I can't get all the way to you, I don't think. So I will spend my bonus action to do Relentless Justice, which, like, right. she'll start shouting and she'll charge even closer to you um, as her bonus action. Her full action is she's going to lay on hands and give you the last 10 of her health that she can. All right. So, and you take, by the way, uh, uh, four damage. Four, uh, four damage. Four damage. Yeah. Yes, you have the, the total damage. Um, okay. I reroll. So, uh, Cesare, up to you. So, you are wounded, I think. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I see my flesh wound. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've definitely got to go ahead and make an attack using burden. Let's see here. Twenty-four. Ooh, hit. hit. Okay. Probably hitting the leg or the the tail. Or... Oh yeah. All hey, right. if we chop so... the tail off, he can't do the circle thing. That's right. That'd be great. Uh, so Ooh. let's see. I can 2d6, and I'm going to spend all three of my blood dice, uh -huh. which is a d8. So one, two, three of those. Yes. Here we go. Come on. Big numbers. Three, four, four, five, two, six, two, seven. 28 points of damage. Nice. All right. And now all right. I have no, no blood dice left. 
90. Okay. That's huge. You can see you you just uh, cut through the leg of Minas or the, the, the tail, whatever you were aiming at. Yeah. And you see a big uh, breach into this uh, inconsistent flash uh, uh, of the tail. And you can see Minas screaming in pain. And he's like, I'm gonna kill you all. You will never see light again. And, but it's still on Severino's turn, so he's just talking. But do it. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, I am going to um, turn to uh, face Teresa and uh, Cesare, and I'm going to flip to the last page of my book that I have open right now and uh, mumble some words and reach out a hand towards Teresa and cast haste on her, like little tendrils of electrical white energy just par- sparkle around her, giving her haste. Amazing. And I'm going to use uh, two of my hope points to uh, cast that without spending the spell slot. All right. So you can feel as uh, Vieri felt before, even though we didn't describe it. You can see, you can hear... You can feel, sorry, a, a heaviness inside of your chest. Whenever you abandon hope, some of your hope, you can feel your body just becoming heavier. And you can feel your mind becoming less hopeless and more desperate. And you, you can feel this. You know, it's something very, very deep inside of you. But still, you didn't uh, expand uh, any slot for cool to to cast that that spell. So you have plus two AC and you get an extra uh, double your move and extra attack every round. Hey, I love it. And awesome. some other things you want to make? Uh, I don't think I have any bonus actions that I can make good use of at the moment. Um, uh, actions real quick. Uh, nope. I can, yeah, I've, I don't have any bonus actions to make use of. Perfect. So, uh, before, uh, starting to try to hit again, Cesare or Teresa, you can see minus, uh, that just, um, put up a feet and then slam it to the, slams it to, to the ground. And you can, and it's like an earthquake. So uh, you have to all make a not a uh, strength saving throw. Oh, no. OB Pro. <laughs> I don't like these ones. <laughs> uh, oh, natural you twenty. The, you have the plus D four of uh, thanks to the blessing of uh, Teresa. It's like <laughs> the your starts quaking. I got a I 17. That's good. I get a nat 20. My first nice. one of the session. Yeah. 16. 16, so right. you're prone. Okay. You're prone, so you know that he's going to hit you with advantage if he, if he tries to. So, yep. but let but Minos is really angry, so he will attack randomly. That's See what it forces. So it's one and two is still Teresa as before. Three and four is Chesa. Come at me. <laughs> so uh, four is for Chesa. Give it to me. Yes. And then. I'll it's because it's because of the sword. Shield. Yeah. <laughs> then one Teresa, and uh, and another one. Right. On Teresa again. Perfect. That's convenient. So, with advantage uh, on Cesare, it's. And Teresa will and quickly on. throw up her shield next to it if that'll help at all. All right. So, I just go one, but it hits the same. Oh. So, it helped, but not, not, uh, not enough. And I'm still rolling really low today. So it's one and two and four is six plus six, 12. 12, 12 damage. Oh, 12 damage. Okay. 12 damage, yes. 
No, this one was on Cesare. Oh, okay. Yep. My bad. Yes. Now to now on you, Teresa, and I think it he misses because I I'm sitting look. at a twenty right now. He misses. Yes, with with both attacks. Really lucky, Teresa. And it's Vieri turn again. I'm going to. Uh, I, I, can can I? I, I kind of want to aim for that tail again and 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 try to take that out and and use a couple more hope points to to embrace my sin and 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 to and just kind of. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. All right. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to. I'm, I'm gonna take my my crossbow, and my black horns, and just kind of aim for the, for the tail a couple times, and right. and just try to uh, see what I can do. Uh, that is a so let me, twenty. Let me, let me tell you this. Let me tell yeah. you this. So, so basically, by mechanics, you couldn't choose to you know to do this thing, you know, to 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 restrain the tail only to not making it uh, go around okay. the leg, but I would give you disadvantage. To do the this exact thing that you, that you want to make. Oh, if you okay. Want to try. So um, that the, the bear action doesn't happen if you. Okay. If you let's, let's 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 try that. Let's see if we can do but, that. And you know that it is a sixteen to hit, so it's not that. Yeah. Uh, it's a tw twenty-four. Was was my attack with disadvantage? Okay. Oh! So. You feel the heaviness of hope living your soul once again, but your uh, the, your dart just hit the tail and basically envelops it with ice that starts, you know, crumbling and just starts uh, growing um, around uh, the wound. And Minas tries to move the tail right after you because it's you know an initiative count 20 it's right after you but it can't but, so it's not going to roll the the tail around his legs this turn and you also make how many damage oh yeah that's right how I, much I, I totally forgot about that part <laughs> I'm so excited to restrain the tail a, I forgot to uh, si <laughs> what's that and I have what and you have a second attack um uh, so that's a uh, six damage on the first one all right and then the second attack is a 20, 26. 26. And that is going to do only five damage. All right. So the tail is not working, basically, this round. So, Teresa, you can add. Okay. You see the flames that were burning uh, right uh, in, a, in, a, in the previous turn just goes down. They don't burn anymore, and you can just act. Okay. Sounds great. So Teresa is absolutely done with this fight. <laughs> uh, she has the righteous anger within her, and she's going to shout, Mine will be done! And she's going to slam the ground with her banner again, and it has right. to make me a wisdom saving throw. Right. If it is a fiend or an undead, it takes disadvantage. It is, so he rolls with disadvantage. So it was wisdom, so it's with disadvantage. 14. Uh, I think that my save, it's is it go off my spell save, DC? It's, yes. Okay, so mine is 14. So it passed. It passes. Okay, meets it, beats it. It does not go prone then. So no. uh, so she does it. And like I feel like the ground like just kind of like rumbles beneath its feet, but it doesn't quite fall over. And she's gonna yes. lift her banner and she's gonna attack. All right. With this haste that Sir Servino has given her. So uh, her attack is a plus uh, plus seven. Exactly. So yes. she got she rolled a 15, so we're sitting at 22. It hits. Okay, so this is going to be a d6 plus a d8. 
and plus four piercing damage because I'm doing this as oh no nope, I'm doing the lance not the spear because the spear is the throw right and the lance is a stab. Uh, uh, I don't know. No, uh, it's uh, it's the same thing. You can okay. choose just like the burden of the tyrant. You can choose mm -hmm. how to use it. Okay. So you can use it as a spear, and you can make. Uh, two attacks, I think, with spear and uh, or as a lance. Okay, I think I had it in the lance form. Yes. Uh, so so I attack. got ten damage for this. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I have extra attack as well. So do I get to attack again? No. Not with the spear. Not with yes. Not, not with the, the spear. Okay. That's why you have two uh, damage rolls on the, on the spear. Got it. Okay. Cool. All right. And uh, I think I have one it's more like... action with haste, right? Because yes. the mine will be done as a bonus action, and I attacked once, so now I have haste for exactly. another action. Yes. Yes. Boom. Okay. I rolled a ten, so, so... seventeen. Not hit it. Okay, that's fine. And blood, oh, 17, like... Seventeen, yes. Seventeen, oh. yes. Yes. Oh, right. okay. I'm okay, you're good. Do, do, do. So, uh, uh, 13 damage. damage. All right. That is a lot. So, blood, like, specks onto her banner that was, like, a flawless white. And you guys feel Thanks. that blessing of God, like, drain away from you as she defiles the banner. Exactly. Nice and exactly. dirty. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. Uh, go chase right. Yes. I definitely want to swing. Now you, you can hear me saying, I will smash you like wounds. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's 19 to hit. It hits. All right. I will also embrace my sin to spend right. two hope points to make it a critical hit. We're just chucking hope like it's free. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one shot, so it is free. Basically. It yep. will not be that easy during the campaign, probably. But right. no, why not? we would be after this fight. We'd be like, uh, oh, what did we do? <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> All right, so roll them. Eighteen points of damage. Ooh. Okay, and you, I mean, since you hit, uh, you also gain a new uh, blood die. Yes. And since you are making a critical hit, do you want to spend it? You know what? I think I will. Yeah. And that's a D8 on that. So seven points of damage on top of that. All right. Uh, so it's 25, right? It was 18? Correct. Correct. Um, okay, you can see... Uh, the legs of uh, Minas, really, you know, uh, just they, they are so wounded, they start to tremble. And then Minas is on his knees. So you, you hear this <laughs> while both the knees of Minas goes on the ground. He's still active, he's still alive, he's still fighting. But he's on the, he, we can treat it like he is prone. Okay, so you all. Attack with advantage. Okay. And uh, uh, it's Serena's turn. All right. I am tired of this fight. So um, Severino reaches up to the top of his uh, top of his hat, and there's a big old gem in the middle of his hat. And he touches that gem for half a second, and you can see him draw some power out of it. Um, I'm going to spend uh, two more hope uh, and embrace a little despair to cast Lightning Bolt again uh, without spending the spell slot. Uh, that'll be my first action here. Let's see what I get out of that this time. Lightning Bolt. Rolling. 
Um, that will be 20 points of damage plus three, so 23 points of okay. lightning damage. And I will use one of my gems of knowledge. I'll, uh, I'll take a gem off my robe and actually crush See? it. Yes. And that allows me as a bonus action to cast uh, a spell uh, with a spell slot for free uh, as a bonus yes. action. And I'm going to pump another lightning bolt into him. Yes, you spend a slot, but you can cast it yeah. again, right? Yeah, but I cast it again. So I'm, I'm giving up my third level spell slot finally. And that's uh, another 23 points of damage. All right. So you can see, I I am done with you. (laughs) And you can hear Mina screaming. You can still, you know, the, 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 the burnt flash smell is even more than, than before. You know, you you can see his flesh burning and uh, he's screaming, he's crawling, he's very wounded. But still, he tries to attack. And he will attack. Let's see. Just won't die. Uh, <laughs> it, and let me tell you, he's going to make one legendary action, which is an attack, and then three attacks on his turn. So, uh, attack I regret the, the legendary off. action is Cesare. It's, it's, but I don't think it... I, I mean... Um, you are just minus one at your AC, so what's your AC now? Uh, 16. 16, so it's plus 10. It hits. It's plus 10. Can I do my so, divine protection? Right. <laughs> Against, yes, okay. It hits one day the same. Take it, one day. Take it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not with this huge. Sure. Yes, maybe I mean, not with a it, boss. It could, yeah. One day it will work, yes. Uh, so it hits and it does makes ooh this is lot I rolled a two ten and one Oof. nine so it's twenty nine mm. plus six it's thirty five damage thirty five ouch yikes yeah it what is like the maximum damage of this hit so two ten okay. and one nine it's, it's pretty yeah. pretty heavy and <laughs> oh, now I will probably lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take a break. <laughs> you are zero hit points? Yeah. yeah. All right. So three, so it would be still on you. So you, uh, it hits you, of course. And uh, you have a death saves uh, failed automatically, right? Okay. So you see that he hits Caesar. And then Caesar goes down and... Uh, Kind of, you know, his is you see that he's down. He's probably going to die. And Minas, not happy with it, just <laughs> slams him another time. And uh, you can see Cesare going, you know, filling the floor, you know, going right into the into the rocks. Right into the ground, just, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So and now on Teresa, because it's 17, I don't think it hits. Get out of here with that. No way. <laughs> that she can block. That she can block. Playing. <laughs> and a 19. But I didn't think he 19 needs... is still a miss. Glances off still her miss. shield. All right. So it's. Uh, let me see. Uh, wait a minute. It was. He's. So. All right, three attacks, so it's one, two, three. Yes, all of them. And Yeti. Um, yeah, I'm just going to. Uh, I, I'm going to run up. Is can can I get a little bit closer and try to? Well, no, I don't want to. I don't want to use. A, I want to use both of my attacks. So yeah, I'm just going to. I'm just going to keep blasting them with my and, yeah, and with my uh, with my black horns, and and I'll I'll give up uh, to hope again to try to uh, prevent him from from attacking and and to <laughs> keep him restrained until my next round, my next turn. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's the only reason we're still alive, right? I'm now. pretty sure too. So <laughs> um, that the first attack is a twenty-five. It hits. Okay, and that is going to be doing 10 damage. 
with advantage. So oh, again, that's right. That's right. If he is technically pro. Hit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, no, that would have been. So let's. Okay. Uh, the second second one was a twenty four. All right. And that is going to do eight damage. And I'm going to right. give up two more points of hope All to right. keep him contained. So eight damage, both the attacks. Uh, the first one I think oh. was ten, and then the first one was, and then the second one was was eight. All right. So you see, Minos, uh, just uh, and you spent you expanded your uh, hope points again, so he's restrained too, and uh, you can see that ice, basically. Uh, Covers him up almost entirely this time. You know, it's got one bolt that is crystallizing his tail, and and uh, and now this one at the center of his wounded chest that is starting to probably uh, gr gripping his heart, and uh, probably its heart beating stops, and you can see minus saying. You will never mess. And <laughs> falls down on the ground. And uh, and slowly starts to become like like solid sand, like when you do uh, sand castles on the beach. Yep. And then this, this sand is, uh, slowly takes the form of ashes and dust that crumbles down and in a matter of seconds, he's gone. And we run through the gate as fast as we can. <laughs> well, we have to get Cesare up first. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we get up. Get up. So or we can do that. Ground. Fine. <laughs> you see, you see that the door is closed, and you see while the dust starts uh, floating away, you know, uh, with with this wind that starts blowing in this area that there are two stone eyes remaining intact and not uh, getting into dust hmm. right where Minas's uh, face do we steal his eyeballs i don't know sure why not we'll take the eyeballs i don't well, know what we're gonna Severino do with them is gathering eyeballs from the <laughs> dust <laughs> Teresa it's... will kneel down beside Cesare and she'll do uh, a cure it's wounds. Cure wounds, yes. Yeah. It's in my nature. I like to gather things up. I love it. Absolutely. And as you, my... up, as you wake it's... up from this, <laughs> you, you is... can't literally take them, but she tried. Like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out a way to roll one around. Like... <laughs> Like a soccer uh, ball. Yeah. Seven health to Cesare. Thank you. So you're, you're, up to, you're up to one uh, one HP, right? Because you were dead. And uh, so whilst some of you are grabbing uh, those eyeballs, stone eyeballs, <laughs> you can see behind you the mumbling of the damned souls. They're starting probably to ask themselves, what is going on? What what are <laughs> they going to do right now, you know? And at the same time, the devils do. You can see that, you can hear them whistle and you call, call for other devils because, you know, the judge king is dead, it's down, it's gone. So... It's going to be killed in a matter of incense. And uh, what do you do right now? I think we just get through this door, honestly. Um, I don't, do we defend the door? Like, do we want to upset the balance in hell? I don't know if that's something we want to do right now. We don't want to let these people get through if they're not worthy to get through. But by the same token, we need to get through. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think we just go through the door. Does, and... Can anybody block the door? Like, I don't mean physically, but... 
you you also know that you would like to really take the lantern of your guide. Yes. This oh. is the divine flame that allows you to come back yes. to life. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I think well, we'll grab that for sure. Actually, you know what? I'll abandon the eyeballs because I obviously can't lift them, and I'll grab the lantern. <laughs> okay. And then we make it for the door. Leg it for the door yeah. is my guess. Is yeah. It shut still? Yeah. How do we get is the it, door open though? Is you said the door, the, the door is shut. It's closed. Yeah. So uh, Teresa will walk up and she'll press a hand against the door. And she will call out because the guide said there was a divine power that led us here. And uh, she'll pray, my Lord, my God, this is the path you have set me upon. Allow me to walk through this door. And she'll hope that something will make this door open. Hold the lantern at the same time. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'll raise it. Guide my own but, way through. But, but nothing happens. <sighs> uh, who's got the key? Did anyone check his pockets <laughs> before he turned to dust? What if what, what if he has to look at the door? Like, what if the eyeballs are there because they have to be facing the door? Ooh, or something? good point. Can we try that okay. real quick? Yeah, no, do it. Do it. I don't know. Yeah, you, you remember right. you saw you saw Menace look at the door. Yeah, right after yeah, let's... he judged. I'll, I'll go over and, and move one of the eyeballs so it looks yes. at the door. Well, when you go back to, to take the balls, the eyeballs, uh, you can see that the damn souls are starting to move up. Although the <laughs> devil just trying to, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> make them go back and, you know, destroying some of them. But it's right. going to be probably a riot. In a matter of <laughs> seconds, and so probably Gary is running towards the doors with those eyeballs, and uh, yep. And when you uh, put them in front of the door, the door in fact opens up, and that's when the riot explodes because they all see the the door, the, the, yeah. <laughs> mm, exactly. mm, the door, door open. open, and so you probably have to run. Running, yes, running. Yeah, yeah. yeah running's definitely. good. Running's always good. Teresa's still at the door praying. Like she hasn't even <laughs> she hasn't even turned around to see this whole eyeball <laughs> nonsense. She thinks that her prayer is what's going to I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Definitely. The power of okay, my faith so, has worked. <laughs> so probably some, some somebody just grabbed them and said, "Yes, okay, you can pray while you run." Thank you, and, <laughs> my lord, my god. Me. You have not yet forsaken me. And as we go, like walking in there, just thank you, thank you. Exactly. So, so you start uh, running, and that's where our adventure kind of ends for now. <laughs> and, as we uh, run into the yeah, the second I, gate of hell. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I don't, is this is this progress? I'm not sure if this counts as progress. <laughs> <laughs> We're going down. I mean, we get to hell? another level. <laughs> in fact, in fact, this is the exact moment in which the divine comedy, as we know it, just changes up because uh, this is this uh, element that you created, that the players create uh, in the in the adventure. Dad, make a real mess out of this hell because <laughs> probably the dent, you know, you know, you are pretty sure that there is no end to pain of the dead souls, and uh, minus two will return to garrison the second circle. Okay, so it will return at one point, but in the meantime, uh, <laughs> yes, because uh, the souls will probably try to, uh, you know. Uh, go where they see fit and hide so as to uh, avoid or lighten the severity of the punishment they deserve. No, because if you're a traitor, which is the the the, the worst thing ever in hell, you probably better you know pull a heavy rock for the eternity instead of being uh, immersed in a uh, iced lake for the eternity. You know, yeah. so. <laughs> This is going to be a mess, a lot, and you made it, so. And we, and we did it. Yay, lucky us. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, you did. Awesome. So, uh, 
so thank you, first of all. It was a good run, and it was a preview, so it, never, never, it is not, of course, a published adventure. It, I finished writing it like two days ago, I told Doug. And <laughs> nice, as soon nice. as I finished yep. it, yes, we were supposed to play the Quickstarter adventure. Yeah, but I was yeah. like, no, I want to play this one for Doug <laughs> and, uh, and well, his friends. So I hope you, you liked it. I, that I was did. super fun. I, I loved it. I got to get this for my players. They would enjoy it. I like the idea that we're, in order to get through, we have to go deeper. Mm -hmm. I like that mechanic. Like normally you tell people, Hey, you're in hell. You're trying to get out of hell. You, you're, you're turning around and going the other way, but not, not in this game. You're, you're literally, you're trying to get, you've got to go in to get through. Deeper. Yeah. Yep. I love yeah. it. Exactly. To be effective, you have to risk a lot. Mm -hmm. and, well, yeah, yeah like, I mean, I don't. I don't know that we would have done that had we know, like, if it, like you said, if not for a one shot, we wouldn't have been throwing hope out the window like it was free. But <laughs> yes, yes, uh, the, the 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 of course the fact that you can respawn is right. another good mechanic that allows you to maybe fail and then retry and and mm -hmm. and have yep. a better yeah. chance to to win. A, and not all the challenges in the game are to be solved with combat. Of mm -hmm. course, it's done and dragons, so yeah. most of them are going to be like this. But yes, and this is why the the hope points are so high. I mean, two reasons: because they have to last just from first level to fifteenth, basically, probably. And then the thirty-three number is a number that uh, occurs a lot of times during the Divine Comedy. You know, there are 33 uh, cantos in every book of the Divine Comedy. So this is a reference, mm -hmm. of course, to the, to, the, to the work. So they seem, they might seem a lot of points, but at the end of the day, they're not probably. There will be some situations in which you can gain hope points, but they will oh, okay. be very rare. So, That's what I was just about so, to ask. Actually. Like, there's got to be a mechanic to regain some small amount of hope at some point. Yeah, I, at some point. <laughs> Very I small. I love that Teresa's ability is that she gives her hope to other people. She gets to spend yeah, that's pretty cool. Hope to give other people. I was like, if I have a moment, I think it'd be neat if she like lifted up her veil just for a moment, and their eyes meet, and she transfers her hope that way. Yeah, that like, would that'd be, be cool, so yeah. cool. Very, very yeah. cool. I like that every, everyone has a unique hope ability too, and they're not. <laughs> yeah. None of them are just silly. They're all valuable. Mm -hmm. Like they're really useful. <laughs> good. good. Yep, that's good. Yes, it was not easy to come up with those uh, those things, even though because of the infernal emblems and the fact that it is going to be those three emblems for all the game, basically. Yeah. So it, they have to be uh, cool to to be playing with, and uh, yeah, they're versatile yeah. enough, and yeah, you don't feel like you're being shortchanged by like because usually D and D is all like fifth edition is usually all items, items, items. So if you're exactly. going to have three items for most of your playthrough, then you want them to be versatile items and they all are like i used every one of mine yep mm -hmm. cool and cool. like they're not they're not massive they're not like ah oh, here's a nuclear bomb you know like right I mean, yeah I, I got to throw two lightning bolts but i still had to use my spell slots so now yes well that, I'm, that I'm ability out, was i'm out of third level spells. And i'm like like that's your that's it's a one it's a one shot and then it's over <laughs> yeah yes Thank you so much, Max. Oh. This is really fun. Yes, no, thank Max. You. Thank yeah, you. Thank great. you so much. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell folks. Uh, I'll remind folks again that uh, if you are interested in in all of this game, that uh, that if this actual play piqued your interest at all, check out the Kickstarter in the in the description. Uh, also, the the link to the Quick Start is down there too, so you can give it a try before uh, before you actually pledge. Um, but I think you're gonna love what you, what you see. And uh, yeah, I. I can't, congratulations on on the successful uh, Kickstarter so far, Max. I, I yes. know it's still got uh, a few few more days yeah, left to go. I think yes. it's just hammering along right now. It's amazing. Yeah. It's it's pro I mean, we we don't know yet, but it's probably going to be uh, the 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 most successful Italian RPG on Kickstarter of all times. Like Excellent. we we waited last year with Brand Colonia, yeah. Then there was another Kickstarter that. Uh, uh, went over it but then we are probably going over it once again and uh i mean it's not not it's not the point it's not the the but still it's a 
pretty cool to say. It's, uh, yeah. sure, it's, a, it's a great honor to have, sure. I want, I'm hoping the stretch goals make it all the way to the ninth circle. But <laughs> yes. The, we're, we're at seventh, we're seventh yeah. already. I mean, yeah, it's, and it's only, what, two days? I think two days since launch? Uh, four. Probably three four or four. Is, this is the fourth four? day. Yes. Okay. Mm. Even so, probably like, to be that far along, you're, you guys are going to hammer your way through the ninth circle. You're going to have to come up with more circles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, well, we had some surprises. Some, but, but yes, everybody wants to, to beat Lucifer's ass. So. <laughs> 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 Oh, excellent. Excellent. All right. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's go around. Uh, Max, if folks want to know more about uh, Acheron Books and, and uh, everything and everything that you do, where, where should they go? Uh, so if they want to know about Acheron Games and Acheron Books, uh, they can go basically to, uh, let me see, because I can't remember. Acheron, it's uh, www.acheron, so A-C-H-E-R-R. -R. O N dot I T. Excellent. And they can see everything uh, from them. Or, or, and you can see our website on www.epicpartygames.com uh, that has all the references to go on the Akron Books website. And then uh, there is also probably the website of the Two Little Mice, uh, the game studio that created all the concept for the game. And Passed it around to to us and Acheron Games to make this beautiful game that uh, has gone so well in Pixar. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Emily, if folks want more of uh, your content out in their your ears and eyes, where should they where should they go? Uh, an easy place to find all of our stuff is our website. I am part of Level One Geeks. You can go to www.levelonegeek.com. We uh, try and convert people over to this sweet, sweet addiction of TTRPGs uh, with a focus on education. So you don't have to have a nerd degree in order to play these games. You can start at level one like the rest of us. You can also catch our Twitch actual plays over uh, at Level One Geeks. So yeah, there's a link there on the website. Excellent. Josh, where, where where should folks find more content if they want uh, more Josh in there? Uh, in their so lines? if if you'd like to see more of me, keep watching Victory Condition Gaming for one. Uh, <laughs> two, uh, you can find uh, me on Halloweenville if you want to watch some of my older videos. And we just released uh, the Gaming Barbarian has its first video up, so you can find us over there, and you can find both of those on Facebook as well. Excellent, excellent. Jason, yeah, where, where should folks? I mean, you're you're on the Chaotic Good Cast, of course, every every Monday night at nine p.m. Eastern on this on this channel. So, if folks want to uh, uh, hear hear you geek out and 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 be the geek of the north that you are, uh, since you're in Canada. Uh, you, 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 everyone should tune in Monday nights at 9 p.m. on this channel. But wh where else should folks follow you if they want to to get more Jasonisms for their <laughs> for, for their life? Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Hexeter. Um, Facebook is just Jason Hunt. Um, but yeah, I'm on the uh, podcast with Doug and the guys every Monday night. Um, if you want to hear the Canadian perspective and often the deliberately opposite perspective, because <laughs> nothing gives me more joy than making Doug have fits. What? <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I never knew that. All right, folks. I, I'm going to thank you, uh, Max again, once again for coming on and being a part of this. Uh, thank you to uh, all the cast here. Uh, we couldn't have done it without all of you. Thank you to the viewers. If you've watched all this far and you haven't hit that like button or hit that uh, subscribe button, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. We, like I said, we do. Uh, we love our our community here, um, and uh, we love featuring and, and showcasing all sorts of games. And and we're just incredibly glad to to give uh, some some you know some of these games a little more sub spotlight than that they deserve and this is definitely one of those so thank you so much max for for being a part of this no thank you thank you for having me it's been so much fun and uh thank you all guys it's been great and it's always a pleasure to be on victory condition gaming well, i appreciate that quite a bit all right, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I want to th thank everyone once again. Uh, remember, winning shouldn't be the only victory condition when you get to the table. We'll see you next time. Bye now.
thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you would be so kind, make sure you hit that like, uh, comment, and subscribe, all the YouTube jazz that we're supposed to do here. Uh, it really is greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to support us more, uh, you can uh, check us out on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com backslash victorycondition gaming. We have all sorts of Patreon perks and